This is calculator question number 23 from the January 2017 SAT, which is also practice test 8 from the 2018 version of the College Board Prep Book. We're given an equation for exponential growth, modeling the number of members of a gym, t years after the gym opens, and they want to know which one models the number of members t quarters after the gym opens. The easiest way to do this is to match a particular time period. For example, at t equals 1, m equals 1836. According to my calculator, if I put this into y equals and check t equals 1. t equals 1 is 1 year, which is 4 quarters. So at q equals 4, I'm going to get answers for each of these. And I'll check and see which answer matches. So if I put choice B into my calculator, making sure that my exponent is in parentheses if I have the classic display, and check Q equals 4, I get 2471, 2471 members, which does not match 1836, so that is very wrong. Let's try choice C. And again, my exponent is in parentheses. And at q equals 4, I get 1,950 members, which is also not the same as I got up here at t equals 1 year, where 1 year is the same as 4 quarters. They should give me the same answer. Let's try choice d, 1,800 times 1.0 h2 to the q. And at four quarters, which is the same as one year, I get 2,467. And that's wrong. And obviously, I skipped choice A because I wanted to look through the others, and I suspected that would be right. And if I put in 1.02, to the q over 4 and look at 4 quarters, I get 1836. And that does match, so choice A is the correct answer. I used our general knowledge that 4 quarters is the same as 1 year and checked to see which equation gave me the same answer. If I hadn't spent so much time talking, it's actually pretty fast to do that. Another way of looking at this is if choice A or B is correct, then at four quarters, which is one year, I will want my exponent to be one. So Q over four gives me one, where four Q gives me an exponent of 16, which is the same as the growth at T equals 16 years. So that's, that would be backwards. B would be wrong, A makes sense. Let's check 8 quarters, which is 2 years. The original equation, which we're told is correct, gives us t equals 2. So I want the exponent, q over 4, to also be 2. And it is at 8 quarters, where 8 quarters is 2 years. So choice A matches, and that would be our answer. College Board often asks about exponential growth. So come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.